Hello everyone, Jake here. Today I have another insect macro photography video for you guys. And once again, I'm gonna be walking around my backyard taking pictures of bugs and flowers and pretty much anything I can find. It's a little windy today, so that might make things a little more difficult just because stuff's swaying back and forth. It's hard to focus, but I think we can get some good shots. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little different. I have a different setup for my flash. I usually use this Godox AD200 flash. It's wireless and I use it off camera and I use it to like position and have more control over the flash, I guess. Recently I had AK diffusers send this over to me. I now have an official setup for macro photography. I see all the professionals use this kind of diffuser. I did, however, need to get a new flash for this setup and it is the Godox TT6852. I haven't figured it out completely. There's a lot of settings on it that I'm just not um, sure how to use. I'm having a little trouble doing like the, the strobe one when it takes a bunch of flashes as much as, you know, photos that I take so I can do more focus stacking. I'm pretty new to focus stacking so I'm having difficulties with that. If you're a macro photographer and you do focus stacking um, and you have some suggestions on what settings I should use, please let me know because I'm still figuring this out. Pretty excited to test this out I'm pretty excited to see what I can take and find in the backyard I also apologize for all the sounds that you're gonna hear my backyard's pretty close to a couple of roads so there's a lot of cars going by um, unfortunately that's gonna be going to the video all right let's get to it that's enough talking let's see what we can find for our first shot that did not take too long looks like I found a beetle on our barbecue right here I'm gonna see what kind of a shot I can get Now one of the best things that you can do for insect macro photography when you can't seem to find any bugs is to look under leaves. You'll be surprised at what you can find. It looks like that was some sort of like shedding from some sort of bug or like a shell. That was pretty cool. One of the main reasons why I enjoy insect macro photography out in the field is because you just get to see how the bugs interact with their environment. And right here, there's um, a bug eating another bug. I'm not very good with identifying bugs, so if you can help me out, let me know in the comments what this bug is. So like I said before, it's pretty windy out today. I'm having a hard time finding bugs. Um, so I'm gonna keep looking underneath leaves. That seems to be where they're all hiding. Now, one of the main benefits I'm already seeing from having this kind of setup is being able to hold on to everything with one hand and then grabbing onto the leaf or stem or plant that a bug might be on and holding it so that the wind can't blow it around. When I had camera in one hand, flash in the other, I pretty much just had to walk away when the wind picked up I I just couldn't focus on anything so this is uh this is pretty cool there actually seems to be a lot of bugs in this corner of the house and <laughs> this fly I think it's some sort of fly is doing this really weird stance let me let me show you see if I can get a photo of this Okay, we're gonna head over to the other side of the house. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad on that side. There is a lot more flowers planted on that side of the garden. So I'm hoping to find some inside the flowers or maybe just collecting pollen, something like that. Those make for interesting photos. So it looks like I was correct. There seems to be a shield bug nestled in this pink little flower here. It seems to be having some sort of nap because I think it's been here for a while. Do shield bugs enjoy taking naps in flowers? All right, I think I found all that I can around the house. We're gonna head over to the back garden now. There is always something to find in there. It's a pretty big garden. Most of the time when I find one of my favorite subjects, like a, a spider, they're always so hard to capture. They're always moving so fast or trying to get underneath leaves to almost hide from me. Unfortunately, a lot of the times I can only get like photos that are almost in focus or parts that I didn't quite want to get in focus. You know, it's usually the eyes you want to try and get in focus for a spider. So these are kind of the shots that I'm trying to explain. They are shots I wish I had a different angle or I could have got more in focus or maybe the lighting was a little different, but you take what you can get. Okay, I'm heading to the back of the yard now. This is very close to the road, so it might get pretty loud with cars, unfortunately. I'm probably gonna look for a couple more insects. It's getting pretty windy and really warm out, so 
I think I'm almost done, but I gotta end on a good note. The back corner of the yard is always full with bushes and flowers, so there's always tons of bugs here. Lots of wind though, I'm not sure what kind of photos I'm gonna be able to get. So yeah, there doesn't seem to be a lot of bugs on the flowers. They all seem to be underneath the leaves. So I'm having to turn up all these leaves to try and find some things. But I did find a couple bugs and they look pretty cool. Alrighty, I think we got some pretty decent photos for today. Even though it was really windy and I had to go searching for a lot of bugs, I think we did pretty good. It was definitely fun using this new setup. It was a little challenging. Again, I need to work on how to use that flash a little better. I wanna do some more focus stacking. All of these photos were just a single shot for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy insect macro photography, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and you'll be able to see more videos like this. Please comment down below what your favorite picture was for today. I think mine might have been the one where that bug was eating the other bug. That was pretty cool. And here comes the sun. Oh man, it is hot out. All right, that's it for me. Until next time, have a good one, guys.